Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Explorer. I'm here on the beautiful Crown Princess cruise ship, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a full walking tour of this amazing ship. We're gonna start out up here on the upper decks and work our way down through the ship, floor by floor, all the way down to the piazza. There are so many cool spots to discover on the Crown Princess, so let's go ahead and dive right into this full ship tour. So let's start our Crown Princess ship tour up here on deck 19 on the star deck towards the aft of the ship. You can make your way up here by using these side stairs. There's also some internal stairs that'll bring you up here as well. Now this is the sports area on the ship. So this is where you're gonna find the sports court. You can see it's fully netted in so balls aren't going over the edge of the ship. This is where you're also gonna find the walking track. So the green area here is the walking track. It's 16 times around to one mile. You're also gonna find Princess Lynx up here. It's a small putting green slash mini golf course. It's only four holes, but it's got some fun little sand traps in it. It's not like what you'd see at an amusement park, but it's still fun to come up here and it is complimentary to play. Continuing around the back of the walking track here off to the right, you can play croquet or lawn bowling out here. And this is one of my favorite spots on the ship for checking out the views of the aft of the ship. When you look down here, you get views all the way down to the terrace pool on the back of the Riviera deck. You can see the hot tub there and then the chill out pool up top here on deck 17. We'll get down to see that a little bit more in a couple of minutes. And over on this side, they've got cornhole set up. And let's head back across the kind of lawn bowling area here and head right back inside. So if you're looking to get portraits done, this is where you're gonna find the Platinum Studio up here on deck 19. But that's pretty much it for deck 19 here, the star deck. We'll head on down to deck 18 down the stairs here. This is known as the Sky Deck. Here you'll find some elevators. There's some restrooms up here. And this is where you're gonna find the Skywalker's Nightclub. Fun chandeliers, you can see the bar on the left there. Lots of comfy lounge seating. Maybe a great place to come during the day as well if you're just looking for a quiet spot to hang out if it's open and fantastic views. Here's that chill out pool again. So that's pretty much it for deck 18, the sky deck. Let's head on down to deck 17, which is known as the sports deck. And here at the aft of the ship, you're gonna find access to Camp Discovery. So for the kids and teens, the beach house ages 13 to 17. Here on the side, the elevators. Here in the middle is the lodge, ages eight to 12. Let's have a peek through the glass here. Looks like they've got some ski ball, different games, tables for crafts, all sorts of fun stuff. Camp Discovery. And then on this side is the tree house for ages three to seven. And that's about it for deck 17 here at the aft of the ship. We'll come back to deck 17 as we get more towards the front of the ship again. Down on deck 16 here, this is the sun deck. Here at the aft, you'll find Adagio and Sabatini's. Sabatini's here is the Italian restaurant on the ship. This is a specialty dining restaurant. Beautiful decor. And then across the way there is Adagio. This is a cocktail bar, so you can see the bar there on the left. Lots of comfy seating and tables. And for deck 16 here at the aft of the ship, that's about it. So we'll head out onto the deck here on deck 16 down the side of the ship. You can head out here, there's some restrooms here as well. And some doors to head out. And these stairs here on the left are the ones that were below us right when we started the video. So you can take that 
all the way up to deck 19, way up there. We'll head down the side here. You can see all the glass windscreens here to help stop all the wind. And we'll come through here and this is where you're gonna find movies under the stars. So they play movies up on the big screen, up on the left there, right above the Calypso Reef pool. And we'll come down and check out the pool and the hot tubs there in a little bit. You can see there's some stairs that'll take us down there as well. But I wanna head up these other stairs. And this is basically taking us back up to deck 17. And this area is called the Sun Terrace. So they can put loungers out here. It's quite early in the morning right now, so it's not really set up. It can be a little quieter up here because you're not right beside the pool. They've got some little side tables as well. And then glass overlooking the Neptune pool as well. We'll head down to the Neptune pool here in a minute. And there's the movies under the stars screen. So you can see it is definitely quite a large screen. Back down to deck 16 and we'll continue on towards the front of the ship. You can see all the fake green grass up here. It's really nice if you're barefoot, you're not gonna burn your feet out here on the deck. Looks like they've got a crew setting up all the loungers and tables for the day. And if we have a look over the edge here, we'll go down there in a moment, but that's the Neptune pool. And there are a couple of hot tubs down there as well. And a shower. And then we've got the Trade Winds bar there with some tables. And there's some lookouts up there. That's technically deck 17 and 18 up there. We'll go up there in a moment. But if you head down the side here, you can walk all the way down to the front of the ship. That's the fitness center behind the glass on the right hand side here. Go right to the front. Get some fantastic views. And you can continue all the way down the other side as well but we'll jump back out to by the Trade Winds bar and head up and check out those little viewpoints. Deck 17 and then up to deck 18 here. So you can see there's a huge area below us for more loungers and the sanctuary up there at the front. We'll head back down. Another great spot for photos. And again, here's that large lounger area with more of the fake grass. And then towards the front here, you're gonna find the sanctuary. So the sanctuary is not included with your base fare. You do need to pay extra to use it. It's got nice padded loungers comfy seating, kind of a covered area here, they have massage cabanas, looks very relaxing. But right next to that you're going to find the Lotus Spa Pool. Now this is an adult only pool, anybody can use it, it's currently empty but there are two hot tubs here as well which were quite quiet during our cruise. And that's down on deck 16 with kind of the spa and fitness center going around it. Tapered seating there as well. And we'll head back here and back down to deck 16. And again, that's the trade winds bar right there. The towels, you can just grab them as you need them. You don't need to check them out as you do on other cruise lines. We'll head inside here where you'll find the entrance to the Lotus Spa. Some comfy seating. We'll head through here. They've got the check-in desk. You can get your hair done, get a massage. They've got you covered and I'm sure they'll take care of you and pamper you if you want to do that. Off to the left there out the glass is the Lotus Spa Pool. And then down here is the complimentary fitness center. Their hours were 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. during our sailing. Different free weights, machines, 
ellipticals, treadmills, and I do have a full Crown Princess Fitness Center tour. I'll link that video below in the description if you do want to check it out for yourself. And we'll head right back out the entrance here, past the elevator banks, and over through the door straight ahead there, that is the chapel, Hearts and Minds. But we're gonna head down to deck 15, which is the Lido deck here. The front of the Lido deck does have cabins. So we'll head towards the midship here and out the doors. You can see seating down the side here, tables, because this is where you're gonna find the Salty Dog Grill. They've got street tacos, burgers, loaded fries, all that kind of stuff. It is complimentary to eat here. They make it right here in front of you. And this is all right out by the Neptune pool. We've got the loungers set up. And over on the other side, opposite the Salty Dog Grill, there is the mix bar over here. And then of course the Neptune pool. It's quiet this morning. We've got a shower pool and then a couple of hot tubs. A nice ledge beside the pool you can sit on. And the hot tubs are quite small. These ones are probably designed for four to five people at the most. I love how they do little designs with animals within the towels. They're really neat. There's also life jackets you can borrow over there if you do need them. And then right here by the Neptune pool, you'll find coffee and cones. So you can purchase coffees here and milkshakes. That's also where you would get the complimentary soft serve ice cream. And here is slice where you can get pizza as well. And this is complimentary. And they make them right here in front of you. Typically they've got margarita, pepperoni, and then a daily special that changes from day to day. And we'll continue here towards the aft. Nice covered area for eating your pizza getting you out of the sun. And then we've got the Calypso Reef Pool. And two more spas or hot tubs here, the smaller ones as well. And the pool, again, a nice ledge around it to sit on. The big movies under the stars screen. The Calypso bar there. And you can enter the buffet area on this side. We'll go across in front of the Calypso bar and enter on the other side. Wooden decking, more seating on this side. And then the Horizon Court buffet is through the doors here. Really neat stained glass here on the automatic doors. Why don't we check out one of the beverage stations here quickly? So there's several of these located throughout the buffet. Grab a cup, they had coffee, cream, and milk, sugars, orange juice, and apple juice in the mornings, teas, coffee, decaf coffee, hot water, then iced tea and lemonade throughout the rest of the day. So this side of the buffet is basically a mirror image of the other side of the ship where the other half of the buffet is. So sometimes they only had one side open, just depending on how busy it was. This is what the buffet area looks like. It was fairly small but efficient because there's so many little islands so you didn't have to wait in one big long line to get to the food. It's pretty early in the morning right now so it's fairly quiet. And we'll continue down the side here. You can see lots of windows all the way down the side so there was lots of seating. And we'll head through there in a moment. I just want to show you here by the elevator banks, you could actually go all the way across to the other side. Again, that side did match this side. And then here at the back, it's called Cafe Caribe or Cafe Carib. A lot more seating back here. And they did have a small little buffet back here as well. It's currently closed, but they'll open it up a little bit later. And they typically would have some of the main items from the bigger buffet back here. So if you're just looking for some of the staples, you could usually get it back here. We enjoyed sitting back here. It seemed to be a little bit easier to get seating. There was a beverage station as well. And 
we enjoyed taking our food out on the deck back here. And there was still service out here for beverages. They'd come by. The Outrigger Bar is here. And the Terrace Pool. We'll be back here in a moment to check that out. You can see there's some bar seating and tables here as well. We'll head up the stairs here to deck 16. I do want to take you up and show you another pool and hot tub. So here on deck 16, more loungers. There's a little fountain. If you're lucky enough, there's a day bed at the back here. It looks like someone's claimed that already for the day. We'll head up the stairs here to deck 17. More loungers up here as well. You can see the star deck where we started way up there, deck 19, and then Skywalker's nightclub. But here's a fairly large hot tub, bigger than the ones out by the Neptune pool, the main pools there. And then we've got the chill out pool here. To be honest, this one was quite cool during our sailing. Definitely was a chill out pool, but great views from up here. If you want to look down over the aft of the ship. And the life ring says Oasis Pool, so it might go by that name as well. And then there's a little area here that will commonly be closed off. This is for Camp Discovery, so they can close this off. The kids or teens can come out here and play. There's the treehouse there. And we'll make our way down on this side. So another day bed over here and loungers. If you can snag these spots, that's a great spot for the day. Really private and quiet. And then back down to deck 15 or the Lido deck. More bar seating on this side over the terrace pool. Really nice tiered seating around the pool, the wooden decking. Now this is technically deck 14, the terrace pool. So um, if you're looking for it on a map, and fantastic views of the wake here at the aft of the ship. Now, if you're still watching, I'm assuming you're enjoying this video or it's giving you value. If you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button, it's totally free and it does help grow this channel. It would be much appreciated. I'll hang out here by the terrace pool while you do that. Pool depth, five foot three inches. And this is for adult use only. All right, let's continue down the side stairs here, and this will take us inside to the cabins on deck 14. Now, a group in our party did have a cabin in this area, and they very much enjoyed it because it was quick access to the terrace pool, as well as the buffet area above. We're gonna sneak in here by the elevators. So these are the elevators that were kind of in the middle of the buffet area. So decks eight through 14 are pretty much all staterooms or cabins. So we're gonna skip over most of that. However, I do wanna stop in one of the laundry rooms or laundry mats that are located throughout the ship. If you do need to do laundry on the ship, you can do self-serve laundry in here. They've got little sinks for you to use. This one had two irons and two ironing boards. Watch TV while you wait and two washers and two dryers. There was a phone in here if you need it. They did have vended items here, so detergents and snuggle. And you could buy your tokens here, select your language. And it was $3 for a wash, $3 for a dry, and then the vended product, so the detergent was $1.25. So we've made our way down to deck seven, and deck seven is known as the promenade deck. We're right by the elevator banks here towards the aft of the ship. To our left here is Club Fusion. We'll check that out in a moment. But I do want to show you what the promenade or the outdoor walkway looks like. You can go in both directions here. Really beautiful out here. I'll take you around. You can go right around the back of the ship and down the entire side. There's access at several points through the promenade deck to get out here. 
And if you want to go up to the front of the ship, there's some stairs here and it'll take you right out to the very front of the ship. And then you can head down the other side. It's 2.8 laps to one mile. We very much enjoyed walking out here during our Alaskan cruise. We'll head back inside here. So as I'd mentioned before, off to the right here is Club Fusion. Let's check that out. It's a gorgeous venue, lots of seating, high top tables, little bar seats here. You can come in here throughout the day and just relax. They've got a dance floor, a little stage for the band, the bar off to the left there, some booths. Kind of a Western motif in here as well. Really fun venue here on the Crown Princess. And as we come out here, again, you've got the main elevator bank where we came down the stairs here. Now I do wanna take you down the stairs here to deck six, because if you're going to Botticelli's main dining room, this is where you would access it and you can't come through on deck six. You have to go to the back of the ship on deck seven and then come down to access Botticelli. So this is one of the main dining rooms here on the Crown Princess. Quite a beautiful dining room, single story. And then back the way we came from. So again, Club Fusion's off to the right. You can access the outer promenade through these doors as well. And there's a walkway down the side of the ship here. Now, if you're looking for accessories for your medallion, you can pick those up here. They've got all sorts of things like watch bands or necklaces for your medallions. And this area is also the photo gallery area. So these big cabinets on the right hand side, they'll open those up and you can purchase photos there throughout the week that have been taken of you. This is also where you can buy camera equipment, GoPros, different accessories right there. Then on the left here is the Crown Grill. This is the steakhouse here on the Crown Princess. And this is a specialty restaurant. Beautiful dark wood finish. And this was voted one of the best steakhouses on a cruise ship by USA Today. Kind of goes around the corner here at the back. We'll continue down the side here. So a couple more kiosks where they sell different accessories. It looks like portraits. And as we come through here, you're gonna find the Explorer's Lounge. So there's the bar there. This was another great venue here on the Crown Princess. Lots of comfy seating. And we enjoyed different things here throughout the week. They had comedy here or different people playing music, game shows, that sort of thing. Big booths. And then more seating by the window over here as well. And more access to the outside promenade. Now, if you're interested in learning about some of the history of the Crown Princess, this area has got lots of plaques and memorabilia. You can learn about the captain and everything there on the left who's running the ship. And you can access the Explorer's Lounge there off to the left as well. So another access. We're gonna sneak through here. This is where you're gonna find the Crooner's Bar. So there's a piano here. Lots of seating here as well. We kind of came in the back entrance. The elevator banks. So again, the Crooner's Bar is right here. There's six elevators in this area and some really neat overlooks. This looks right down to the piazza down there at the bottom. And we kind of get into the shopping area here as well. And this store is called Essence. They have lots of perfumes and makeup, cologne, Chanel. And then down on this end, it's facets. Lots of watches and jewelry in there. Very kind of European marble kind of look to this area. Piano down there, beautiful chandelier. And another entrance to Crooners. The staircase going down. We'll continue forward here. This is where the library is located. So if you're looking to borrow a book, you can head on in here. 
There's a big table with some chairs. You can borrow some games from here as well. They have quite a big selection of games and books, magazines, and a really cool map on the ceiling. Then as we come out here, it's the Effie store. Some more jewelry. And then we've got the Wheelhouse Bar and the Salty Dog Gastro Pub. Very nautical vibe in here. And this is a specialty restaurant here on the ship. The bar. Lots of high top tables. Continuing on towards the front of the ship here. You've got the captain's circle desk. More access to the outside promenade. And then this is where you're gonna find access to the main theater, the Princess Theater. Very traditional style theater. A good slope to the floor, so there's great sight lines, there's no posts. Quite large. And then there's a lower area down there that can be accessed from deck six as well. We really enjoyed the shows we saw here during our sailing. Back out, the front elevator banks, and I think we'll head down to deck six here. Deck six is known as the Fiesta deck. The Gatsby Casino is to the right, and if we head down the hallway here, that would take us right down to the lower level of the Princess Theater. You're also gonna find the Conference Center here, and during our sailing, this is where they house the ping pong table. So if you're not seeing them on the upper decks, come check out, see if they're here in the Conference Center. So we'll head towards the aft of the ship, the Gatsby's Casino. Now I have done a full tour of this casino in a different video, so I'll have that link below in the description if you do want to take a closer look at that. But we'll head back out to the kind of atrium area. Some more shops. This is where they sold liquor and cigarettes as well. It was the main souvenir shop on the Crown Princess. So if you're looking for princess gear or Crown Princess souvenirs, this is where you would come. It's called Calypso Cove. You had Alaska souvenirs, snacks in there. You could even get the Crown Princess ship model. And this is right by the main elevator banks. The stairs back up to deck seven. And back towards the Gatsby Casino here is where you're gonna find the guest services desk. So if you need anything, you can come here. Piazza down below, the piano. I really found this ship to be quite elegant and beautiful. All the pillars. Another entrance to the Gatsby Casino. And then you've got the shore excursion desk if you want to book shore excursions. And then over here is Meridian Bay, so another shop. This one had more purses and bags, jewelry. And they had some very high-end items in here. We'll also find access to the Da Vinci dining room. This is one of the main dining rooms here on the Crown Princess. Very similar in finish to Botticelli's that we saw earlier. Heading back towards guest services. Again, we can go up or we can head down. I think we'll head down to Deck five, which is known as the Plaza Deck. At the bottom of the stairs here, we'll find the International Cafe where you can get specialty coffees or you can get some complimentary treats, some snacks. Different sandwiches and desserts. The piazza area has some comfy seating and they would commonly be playing music out here for you to enjoy.
towards the front of the ship. If you're interested in art, this is where you're going to find the art gallery. You can head in there just to browse or you can purchase a painting to bring home with you. Now if you're a wine lover, off to the left here you're going to find the Vines Wine Bar. Extensive selection of wines there, some really nice seating, some computers. This is the Escapes Travel Cafe area. Really cool globes there. And then the Future Cruise desk as well as the internet center. So if you need internet while on board, they do have some computers you can pay to use here. We'll head by the elevator banks. And the only thing down on deck four is the medical center. So if you're looking for that, it's on deck four. We've got the piano and the drums for all the music they play out here. Good Spirits Bar, that's right next to the International Cafe. Then as we round the corner here, you're gonna find the Michelangelo dining room. This is the last of the main dining rooms on the ship. Again, a very similar finish to the Botticelli's dining room that we looked at earlier. And that's it for our Crown Princess full ship tour. I hope this video did give you value. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe here to Northern Viking Explorer. We've got plenty of videos coming up that we would love to share with you. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, happy cruising.